Hello everyone, my name is Zurionix and today we'll be reacting to Songs of War. This is going to be a very long series since it's two hours long. So I decided to break this down into two videos, which will be five episodes per video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little series. <laughs> okay, uh, before I begin this video, I have a special announcement. I'll be reacting to more videos next week, but I also want you guys to check out my other videos, which I do gaming. I'm planning to play Minecraft 1.17 next week and try other new games that you guys might want me to play. So, without further ado, hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. You don't have to subscribe, but it will be very awesome if you guys drop a like and comment. It really does help me with my motivation you know i want to release all these videos for you guys to watch all right without further ado let's uh react to this video all right i'm excited for this this is the first episode of songs of war oh my god everyone's dying already i love the flames effects oh my god ender dragon oh okay they called him Death Singer. Death Singer. Our world, okay. Ardonia, is a vast land, home to many diverse people. Str oh my God! You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Skyrim. You guys ever played a game called Skyrim? This actually reminds me of Skyrim. This is actually so cool. Strange creatures and dangerous monsters hidden among the shadows of dense forests. Beneath the sands of treacherous deserts and frozen Ooh. within the ancient mountains of the north are secrets and mysteries which have eluded. Yeah, this definitely does remind me of Skyrim. Ages. Few of these mysteries, however, have attracted such fascination as the Ardoni species, for which the land shares. It's, it's crazy name. how hard they animate this. Like, every detail is insane. The Ardoni possess the unique ability to wield great powers known as songs. Basically, Daniel stones. <laughs> the strongest of these Oh my god, it is. Prime songs. Prime and songs? Deemed too powerful for the Ardoni to wield freely. Sorry guys, I'm trying to understand this story, so that's why I might be a bit quiet in this episode. <laughs> so yeah. Thus. They were given to the masters of the four Ardoni clans as a sign of peace and unity. Because of this, the clans were blinded to a great danger. From within the fires of the Nether Realm. Of course, the Nether will be the problem. To conquer the overworld. Oh my god. They vanquished the kingdoms and people of Ardonia as they spread across the land. But they were not to remain unchallenged. The Ender Knights returned during these dark times, long having been guardians of the Overworld. The oh two my God! Realms clashed with a fury of inconceivable power. Ooh. Okay. Yet the Nether had prepared well for this invasion. And even the legendary Ender Knights could not stop them. With no hope of victory, the kingdoms called upon the Ardoni to wield the prime songs. Reluctantly, the clans agreed and held a tournament to determine which Ardoni would become their champion and wield all four prime songs. Oh my god. One rose above the rest. Persistent, cunning, and powerful. The champion has been found. Okay. When presented with the prime songs, however, he revealed himself as Ingressus, leader of the long forgotten and dreaded Voltaris clan. Outraged, the masters refused to give Ingressus the prime songs. What? For it was due to their misuse of such power that they had been banished. Wait, why? Wait, what happened? That night, 
while the clans debated their next course of action. Ingressus set out alone to reclaim the prime song. Oh my god, that sword looks... One by one, he slayed the masters of the Kaltaris. That's so scary how they die and their lives just switch off. Clan. Oh ho ho. You should have gave him the songs. Okay. Through these dark deeds, he became known as the Death Singer. Death Singer, okay. The fourth and final master, Aegis Nestoris, survived the massacre, thus protecting the last and most powerful Prime Song. The Ardoni mourned the tragedy. They vowed to hunt down the Death Singer and to prevent him from obtaining the final Prime Song. It was at this time that the Voltaris clan returned from exile. However, even with their support, he knew that he was outmatched. With all of Ardonia now his enemy, there was only one place okay. to turn. The Death of course. Of King Kronos of the Nether Ooh. and formed the most powerful alliance ever known. Look at the lava, it's so beautiful. And thus began the great war. This is why you install shaders. <laughs> the knights rallied under King Rendor and fought the Nether head on. Four Ender Dragons. Oh my the God! Humans, we assemble. Finally, I get to see humans up close. The Ardoni clans wielded their songs of old. The Magnarites came from the south. The Felinas from the west. Some even say he was there. Ooh, here, Brian, yo! But despite everything, the Death Singer and the Nether armies could not be stopped. Ah. The tides of this conflict turned after a young Ardoni joined the fight. Skilled with the songs, ah, these guys, Achillean okay. Nestoris was able to unite and lead the armies to victory, which earned him the name oh my God. Tide Singer. Tide Singer? Okay. And the Undernight forces. I'm trying my best to like the re remember the names, you know what I mean? Back into the Nether. With no allies, the remaining Voltaris fell back to Mount Felbrin. Yo, this soundtrack reminds me of Star Wars. What is it called? Revenge of the Sith? And both were defeated. I'm getting some vibes from that as well, like the song, the soundtrack. The Prime songs were recovered and distributed amongst the clans once more, signaling an end to the Great War. Songs of War. Oh my god, this is insane. The, the level of detail in this is, is amazing. Oh my god. What happens if you will all four songs? Do you become like a freaking god? <laughs> What now? Oh my. The stronghold? What is this place? Oh my god, look at the floor. It's like reflected by the light. It actually does look pretty for a Minecraft game. The Great War. 11th Wall of Time. Okay, so we're starting off with the first part Hawken, now. I feel to see. Hawken. Uh, 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 yes, exactly. So you see what this means, Thalius? Hawken, were you sleeping? This makes me want me. Where this makes me. <laughs> time say the final duel took place. Mount <laughs> Velgrin. Indubitably, most legends, including these bungled walls of time, fail to state that the final duel took place on the mountain's peak. This makes All me right, want to play the so... Minecraft story mode. What I might play that actually. Why not? I heard rumors of a presence on the peak of Mount Velgrin, being the naturally. Look at the floor, though. Oh my God, it's so shiny. I like that. That was two weeks ago. 
And what was their report? There was no report. None ever returned. Why do you think that is? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. The Voltaris. <laughs> You think the Voltaris are at Mount Velgrin? Indubitably. I'm aware you've been hunting Voltaris ever since the Great War ended. So, I brought you here that to... That culture sounds pretty annoying, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's been years since I lost the trail of the Voltaris. I should ride to Mount Velgrin and see for myself. Ah, uh, hold up there, Thalius. Although I'm no chronicler... I feel it is my duty to accompany you and record what information we find. I would also like to discover the fate of those I sent to investigate. There is a chance we will encounter the Voltaris. And who knows what other perils. Fear not, Oh Thaddeus, my god. Or I am prepared to fight. A worth fish. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Somewhere around here I have a weapon. <laughs> Unless I lost it. Ah, here it is. <sighs> Very well. Come on, then. Most likely, this was all just a misunderstanding. He has like an enchanted diamond sword. An upgrade diamond sword. I wonder how long it took them to make this animation. Do you guys know how many episodes they released? I think they released all the episodes, but I'm just curious how long it took them to release each episode, you know? Oh my god, this is beautiful. This feels like you're playing the story mode for Minecraft, you know what I mean? Like you're into this insane cutscene and you're like, wow, they did a good job with this scene. <laughs> Floating islands, that's pretty cool. The moon is there. Who is that character? Right here, Thalius. Hmm. Someone was here recently. I found their supplies. How peculiar. Why would they leave their belongings where others might find them? Because oh. they are still here. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, this would be so cool if it was a game. You think about it. Thalia Sundaris. I've heard many things about you. And I have heard nothing about you. Oh, I know. I've made quite sure of that. So allow me to introduce myself. My name. Is Tigran Voltaris. As for you, Thalius Sundaris, I know who you are, champion. And I know what you've done to my clan. Your sword has slain many of my brothers, and once I killed you, I will take it and slay twice as many of yours. Oh, okay. Oh, here's some action. I'm sure the guy with the blue sword should win. I want the guy to help him, but he's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love how the red dude switches his sands. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That is such a unique ability to teleport. That's so cool how the shield breaks, what the heck? Oh. 
He could have distracted him. I guess that was, was his distraction. Oh, come on. So many years have we prepared for this. And you are not about to interfere. Oh! Oh, he's escaping. It's good to escape. I mean, even if he, if he did kill him, there will be, still be a lot of armies, you know? Oh, okay. Ravine. I love that ability. It just teleports you away. I guess he's the only one that can teleport, yeah. Poor guy, man. Got stabbed in the chest. What now? <laughs> Bro, I feel bad. To be continued. That was very interesting. Uh, what a what an what an episode. <laughs> there was like a lot of things happening. We got the first uh introduction of the characters and the war, the you know this whole story, and it's actually a very interesting uh series. I might actually re watch this whole thing. All right, let's start the next episode. Are these the main characters? <laughs> there it is, Grim. If we pull this off, I'm about to become a very wealthy man. Hand me the schematics. Oh, come, come on, hurry up. According to these schematics, Grim, what is all this? I asked for schematics. I, I, I specifically asked for schematics of Etheria. How are we supposed to steal the stone when we don't even know which tower it's in? <laughs> all right, you don't have to shout. You're gonna get us caught. Just have to do what I do best. Improvise. Stick behind me. Uh, and don't do anything stupid. Now this is reminding me of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Stealth. You know what I mean? Climbing towers and stuff. Oh, you probably want to buy it. What are you doing now? <laughs> just, just purchasing the new weapon. Don't buy from the people you're stealing from. Now let's keep moving. That could be useful. Yeah, that could be definitely be that could be useful. What, what, what is wrong with this? What is wrong with this guy? Okay, that's too far. I could have knocked these guys out. Instead he, he killed them. <laughs> Watch the entrance, would you, Grim? The Ender Dragon's Egg. What? Oh. It was redstone wired. It's... It was wired. Run. Pressure plate. Uh oh. <laughs> you see, that weapon was handy. We did it, Grim. I'm going to be rich. Oh, my God. <laughs> Now we have to find it again before someone else does. <laughs> the energy trail pointed north, towards Underwood. You're right, it is heading away from Etheria. So, let's get moving. What now? Oh, two... Two of them are practicing. I guess the Ender Egg might spawn here. Who knows? Oh, are you alright, Sen? <coughs> uh, 
yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> That's not fair. Do you think the undead fight fair? Or the nether? Or the many other dangers out in the world? And how are we going to get out there? One day we will. Somehow. Oh, he came back. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Rhea Sundaris? Yes? I made you something. It's not the most. How did you fit that in your Sundaris? pocket? <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, it's like from an inventory, I guess. If Father sees this, he's going to take it away. Then I'll make you another one. Want to try it out? Of course. But now I'm going to destroy you with a weapon like this. <laughs> Thalius? Our strength comes from not the power of our weapons, but rather how we choose to wield what power we have been given. Is this weapon your handiwork, Sen? Yes. Yes, it is. Your arrival is most welcome, Kythalius, but unexpected all the same. <laughs> it was unexpected events which have led me here. It's good to see you both. Is Rhea still besting you? No. Yes. <laughs> it is a fine blade, Sen. Thank you. Hello, Timber. Your father would not approve of this training. I know. And he definitely would not want you to have what I'm about to give you. Uh, uh, also, you cannot tell anyone about this. What did you bring us? Oh, what? Songs? For us? In the old days, it was common for Ardoni of your age to wield songs. It is our unique ability to harness their power. To deny their usage is to deny the very thing that makes us Ardoni. Will you teach us how to use them? Patience, young ones. First, I have some very important business to take care of. Uh, now, remember, you cannot let Ocivian know about it. Oh, no. Is that you? Oh, Ocivian! Apologies uh, for arriving uninvited. Thalius, Sindaria is your home. You are always welcome here. But you two, I specifically told you to stay away from each other. Rhea, you have too many responsibilities to go gallivanting off seeking danger. No, because I'm one of the few surviving female Ardoni. You've told me before. And Sen, I wish you would respect my wishes. I raised you as a member of this clan, even though by blood you are not. All right, Ocivian, I think they have heard enough for today. I have matters of great urgency to discuss with you. Then best we head inside. You two, go back <laughs> to your rooms and remain there until I summon you. Interesting. Oh my god, the detail of that. Holy! What is that? I swear there's like those stones, or they call it songs. That's so interesting though. Alright, Lucan. Since you continue to show good behavior, and your crimes were, once again, minor, we're going to accelerate your release. So, that explains the cake. A celebration. Don't touch my cake. <laughs> what? There is one condition. Don't touch my cake. You're being assigned to mining duty near the Basalt Coast. Mining what? duty? What? You sure that paper doesn't read milling duty? Mailing duty? Yes, not. So, mining duty, huh? You mean underground where the undead are? You'll be protected by a guard like every other miner. There's no need to worry. Uh, I'm feeling much safer here in jail, actually. <laughs> Say, 
That would be me, actually. If I was in jail and they want me to go on some, like, dangerous military training, I'll be like, you know what, I'll just chill in my jail cell for the next year. Resources getting scarce. We're being forced to mine deeper into the dangers that lurk below. If you wanted to kill me, we could have just gone with an execution. Oh, he took half of the kick. Oh, I thought... I thought he dropped the kick, you know, by knocking it down. That is so interesting. Rhea, what are you doing? What? Nothing. What are you doing here? Nothing. What, are you going Seth? to train? A Sivian is right about some things. What do you mean? I'm one of the few remaining female Ardoni. And your clan list will never be going on crazy adventures like the stories Thalius tells. Here. You'll probably want this back. It was meant for you, Rhea. Keep it. They were Voltaris. At least seven of them. I have reported this to the masters. But oh, he's discussing what happened. And why earlier. would they listen? You have spoken about the Voltaris and their return for the last hundred years. Without evidence, your words can only fall on deaf ears. I understand, which is why I'm not here to raise an army. <sighs> if I cannot convince you, all I can do is prepare. Oh. Someone is listening. Oh! Uh, Thalius! Sen, this is the second time today you've disobeyed me. How much did you overhear? Nothing. I, I was just passing by. You were supposed to stay in your room. <laughs> I believe a stricter punishment is in order. Okay. Uh, that will not be necessary, Osivian. I will take him with me on my journey and discipline him myself. Wink. Oh, no. <laughs> I expect an improvement in your attitude when you return, Sin. Take him back to his room. And make sure he gets there this time. I'm really going to travel with you? How far are we going? What should I bring? Do I need a sword? <sighs> Rhea would have wanted to come. Perhaps another time. Now get some sleep. We have a long journey ahead of us. Ardonia is a large world and full of surprises. It's crazy that I'm not talking this much because I'm trying to understand the story, the plot and everything. Pigs, okay. What are they doing here? No, oh, that's pretty cute. Oh, it's a carrot. No, don't kill the pig. Oh. Okay, we are we are introducing another character. I hope it's better than tomorrow's breakfast because you just <gasps> Oh, that's where it spawned. Ah, okay. That makes more sense now. <laughs> I guess the girl will take the egg and the other two guys will try to steal it. I don't know. We'll find the next episode right now. Miner. Of course they need more miners. Uh, there's no shortage of quilters or bakers. Nope, nope. Just miners. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he actually mining? Oh, he's actually mining. <laughs> I thought he just ran away Whoa. and escaped. A 
another legally obligated miner here to do service. You gotta be kidding me. Anyone awake around here? Hey! <clears throat> what? I'm here for mining duty. I'm it looks like he's drunk. Eddie. He's That's not like he was me, sleeping. Eddie at your service. He's drunk. I prepared some beverages, but I it drank most of them. Um, <laughs> potato? Uh, no thanks. I ate on the way here. <laughs> A poisonous oh, potato? The Lucan, by the way. Nice to meet you, Lucan. My name's Eddie. Let's get started. <laughs> He's I going to hate this job so much. Oh, that's so cool. You can see, like, the, the mine carts just moving. That's so cool. Like you've never seen. My father was a guard. My brother was a guard. My sister was a guard. Wait, I don't have a sister. And I'm telling him. He's so drinking. Oh my god. Eyes. They're poisoned in one bite. But he's it anyway. Uncle was riding a big off a. Stop. Would you be quiet for a second? Oh my god. Oh, you get used to hearing strange sounds down here, Lucan. I hear them all the time now. Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> we'll be working over there on our left. I mean, uh, right. Oh! Creepers! Hey, the classic. <laughs> what? What? How did he not know? Oh, okay, I don't. I don't understand that part. What is this thing? Okay, we go back to this part. Sam, shush. <laughs> oh, the dog is so scared. See, nothing happened. Come on, let's take it back with us. <laughs> Abigail, were you out hunting again? Mr. Finch, Sam and I went out early to uh, catch something for dinner. Did you at least harvest the sugar cane before you left? Yeah, I got <laughs> it. Harvest the sugar cane. <gasps> I'm sorry, Mr. Finch. <laughs> I was going to get it this morning. Mm, all right. So, uh, did you catch anything? Well, we would have got a pig if it weren't for someone. Well, I imagine you both are hungry. You see that pack over there? It's full of fresh meat, fruit, bread, and all other sorts of food. Oh, what the hell? Got it all in Oakendale during my last trip. You didn't need to hunt for it. On top of that, uh, we got a whole season of crops of our own ready for harvest. We're farmers, Abigail, just like your parents were. Now, uh, you go get that sugar cane before it gets dark. I'll be enjoying a nice dinner in the meantime. <laughs> uh, uh, what's this you are rolling up to the house? Oh, that? Nothing much. It was just a big purple stone. Nothing much? This is a dragon stone, Abigail. Oh. Ooh. Hey, you keep that animal away from me. Sam, cut it out. <laughs> Things like this are beyond you, Abigail. Well, at least the dog is useful. Oh, it's eating its steak. Oh, the dog is so Safe cute. <laughs> Thalius, I shall await your return so that we may have ourselves a proper reunion. Sen, I expect more from you when I next see you. I will do better. I promise. 
Farewell, Osibia. Climb on up, Sad. Hmm. Come on, Timber. We ride south with all haste. Alright, so they're on their adventure towards Weirdo. I guess he needs his help because I guess his other partner died in the first episode, which is sad. The rain on the detail of the rod and stuff. God damn. <laughs> the lightning as well. It's crazy how much they put into this animation. I'll be honest, this would be better if it was a game. Every night. Not every night. Oh Not my anymore. god. Their presence has diminished greatly over the past few generations. But you can never be too careful. Thalius, what brought you back to Sandaria? Events long past. Forgotten by many. The Great War? Yes, the Great War. I came back to Sandaria for this. Wait, what? A prime song. One of the four. Osivian oh, had it all this time? But he isn't a master. After the masters were targeted by the death. Well, I don't understand. The Great War, it was decided that the songs were too dangerous to remain with the masters. Osivian's oh, family has kept the Mobilian Prime secure ever since. So where are we taking it? I have reason to believe the Voltaris clan will return. And when they do, they will hunt down the Prime Songs and destroy everything in their path. I cannot let that happen. Not to the Ardoni. Not to you. I'm moving the song to a safer place. Get some sleep, Sen. Our destination is close now. What does the Prime Song even do, though? Like, does it grant, like, powers and stuff? Or is it a Prime Song to unlock some, like, a door or something? You know what I mean? Oh. Okay. So I guess this they were overwhelmed. Some grave news you brought us. Can you describe in detail what happened in the mine? First, I saw this. And then they came from the tunnels. Undead. Using weapons and wearing armor. There have been rumors of necromancers who seek to control the undead and use them as an army. I've heard similar stories. The undead have been attacking strategically and in greater numbers. Lucan, you owe the Kingdom of Felden further service, so I am tasking you to investigate the situation. What? Me? I can't. I'm not. I just got lucky. You want me to fight necromancers now? Investigate. You will report back to us with your findings. <laughs> That's terrifying. With a skull? Hmm, a sylph? Is that what it's called? What is it called again? I don't remember what that tool is called. <laughs> Oh, look at the dog. You can't hate the dog, man. I 
Oh, he's holding a bone. Excuse me, sir. We're on the lookout for two thieves. Last reported heading this way. You haven't seen no one in these parts but yourself. What did they steal? A relic from Etheria. The Dragonstone. One of the few remaining in all of Ardonia. Oh. It's been all quiet here, as usual. I'll be sure to let you know if I see anything. Oh, no. Abigail, what are you doing? They were coming for the stone. I know. What, you think I would hand it over like that? I can sell it for a lot more than what they'll offer. <laughs> now, uh, hand me the stone. Oh. Abigail. <gasps> Abigail, oh. careful with that. Everything was fine until you came in here and messed with it. You know, it was through reckless actions like this that your parents got themselves killed. Oh. It didn't teleport though. Why didn't it teleport? I don't understand. Oh. Scratch out the old man uh <laughs> to be continued. It's funny how the old man faked. Like, I thought it was gonna be like, oh, I have it in my house. I guess when the woman said uh, it was stolen, I guess the old man knew like, oh, we didn't we didn't have it. So I guess he just play along. <laughs> All right, uh, next episode, I think, I think two more episodes, I don't know. What is that? Oh, she's in a nightmare. She's literally in a nightmare. This could foreshadow, who freaking knows? Ooh. Enderman? Don't look at them. <laughs> Skeletons, okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, it's just a dream, <laughs> a nightmare. Now listen here, you thieves. I'm gonna report you straight to the Etheria car, and they're gonna Shut hunt you, you down. Jokes. Oh! Go back inside, girl. There's no need to hurt yourself with that knife. Put the stone down, and leave. Try not to lose it again. I'm gonna give you one last chance, girl. Okay. That's pretty fast. Okay. <laughs> I love that they're both watching. Not bad, kid. But I don't have time for this. Oh. <laughs> I love that it's like a meat in his sword. Who is that? <laughs> oh, I love that. You've got 
gotta be the worst necromancer I've ever seen. Sorry to disappoint you, but this was just a trap! And what were you trying to catch? Uh, necromancers. Like yourself! I'm not okay. a necromancer, you idiot! I'm hunting them! So am I! A Felina? A human. That would explain the poor eyesight. Oh, my eyesight is bad? You attacked me first! <laughs> Only because you had all this... this stuff! What is all this? I was hoping to draw out the necromancers. Necromancers aren't interested in rotten flesh. Ugh. You'll just attract the undead. I think I may have attracted both. Okay. See, my plan... Whoa, wait a minute. Where'd you go? Oh, God. Oh, this place is just a ton of fun. Climbing trees, chased by zombies. What's <laughs> next? Uh, hey, where'd you go? Quiet! Other than fleeing for my life, I need your help. I can tell. Come on inside. It's like a tree house. <laughs> what is all this stuff? Don't touch anything. So, why were you after necromancers? Ever since I survived the attack on the basalt mines, i Wait, so you're the survivor from the basalt mines? You must be looking. What happened? What was their attack strategy like? Whoa, hey, look, lady. I don't know anything about attack strategies or necromancer plots. I just got forced into this. I'm not a warrior. Or a hero. I'm just someone trying to get by in life. And right now that means hunting necromancers. I'm surprised the leaders of Felden finally acknowledged their existence. I've been after them for years. Perhaps <laughs> we could work together. I work better alone. You can stay the night, but tomorrow you're on your own. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably better off alone as well. Hmm. <laughs> How does it undead not see that tree house? Lucan? Where'd I put my map? You mean this old thing? Hey, give me that! I told you that I'm hunting the necromancers alone! Hunting with this bow? Look, we both might be more of the lone wolf type, but right now we have a common goal. We might as well use that and work together. Fine. But once we locate the necromancer base, you're out of here. Deal. Uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Nika. Don't slow me down, Lucan. Okay, so they arrive to a different city. Look, Seth. We are approaching Oakendale. Oakendale? Where's that? We are in Concord. That's a beautiful the village. Oh my god. Samaria. That is insane. What the hell? What are they? Those are Magnarites. Do not make eye contact, Sen. <laughs> it's 
stay close behind me. Even capital cities can be rough. Interesting. Arn Golem A! That's pretty cool. This is the village I want to see Minecraft build. And you know, that's default. That would be pretty cool. Get a village update again. <laughs> that would be sick though, if, if Minecraft did that. Oh, what the hell? Scare me. We are cleared for travel to Crown Peak. Wait, so we're traveling further? We must be at the end of the world by now. Sad, we have barely crossed the fifth of Ardonia. We've not even left the north. Oh my god. The beacon? Dude, I still don't understand about beacons. How did he- what's the point of them? Are they just like, just to mark where your location is? What is this place? Thalius, where are we going? To the other side of the world. Beyond the heart of Ardonia. Hold on, Sen. Things might get a little bright. Bright? And- uh, and loud. Uh, uh. Oh, you'll see. What's going on? Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome to Crown Peak. Oh! Well, it's well, it's not meant in, in the actual micro game, but in this series, it's used for teleportation. That's pretty cool. You can transport yourself to a different city. Oh, that's so cool. The used to rule Ardonia. Crown Peak was the Ender King's seat of power, but the last king, Rendor, split the world into six kingdoms after the people rebelled. Why is one flag missing? That would be Carthen. Not so long ago, they attacked their neighboring kingdom, Sidonia, and withdrew from the Union. Mm. I, I can tell you all about it later. Now, now keep up, Sen. We're almost there. Okay. Thalius and Taris. Solomon. What? What do you want, Thalius? That is a conversation best held in private. Thalius, what kind of trouble are you brewing, my old friend? Well, quit standing around with a dumb look on your face and come on in. <laughs> That's a bit rude, man. Too far. The mines are running Sag. Dry, the undead have been increasing in numbers, and there's even word of a necromancer group on the rise. Out of all this madness, you're worried about an army that disappeared 150 years ago. Solomon. Oh my god. If you fought the Voltaris as I once did, you would know that they are more dangerous than all these other threats combined. Yeah, yeah, the Great War. The war's over in their midst. Don't go in there, man. Thank God. Keep your nose out of trouble, kid. This here is the greatest house in Crown Peak. Most expensive, too. Frankly, I deserve it, considering all I've had to deal with keeping my business alive. The <laughs> only thing is, you've got to mind the drop. 25 meters straight down. There was a time. Nindonites ruled the land and their dragons soared the skies. The nether clashed in battles of unimaginable force. The 
undead were a menacing threat to be feared, and even the Ardoni clans wielded great songs of power. That time is over. I believe that time is coming again. I need you to safeguard a prime song. Oh, okay. Can you do that for me, Solomon? Can you safeguard this? Yes, yes, I've got it. Will that be all, Thaddeus? That will be all, Solomon. Thank you for your help. Yes, that's what I do. I don't trust this guy, Thalius. Not one bit. He may seem difficult, but he is good at what he does. Okay. Nearly all of his life he's run a black market potion business without being discovered. A skill which I am counting on. Come on, Sen. We have another long journey back home. Wait, so they travel all the way here just to deliver that prime song? So hard to understand. Oh, she got. She's awake now. Whew. I was about to send for a doctor. You've been out all day. Do it easy there, Abigail. You're in no condition to be moving about just yet. The Dragonstone. Yeah, those thieves made off with it. Don't let it trouble you. You know, this is what happens when we meddle with affairs that don't concern us. We're farmers, okay. after all. No. What did you just say? I'm not a farmer. I'm going after that stone. If we try to alert Etheria, it'll be too late. But mm. Sam and I can track them while their trail is fresh. Abigail, I forbid you to do this. I know you do. And I'm sorry. Come on, Sam. Oh my god. Abigail. The sword. They're finally traveling. Hell yes. Okay, what happens next? To be continued. Oh, wow. That's a, that was a really good episode. I enjoyed that one. Alright, I think we're on to the last episode. Then I'm going to end it there. <laughs> this guy's like having nightmares and flashbacks. Ooh, right in the face. The Felina oh. female who was with you the other night. Where is she now? Which night are we talking about? I get my Felina girls mixed up. Don't fool with me, scum. I want to know where. <laughs> nice, okay. Dueled? Okay, knockout. Looking for me? As a matter of fact, I was. Well, here I am. Now it's my turn to ask questions. I'm not telling you anything. The necromancers will soon rise and cover the world in dark. <laughs> what? Nika? What? You heard him. He said he wasn't going to tell us anything. Or were you enjoying his little speech? Well, what's the plan now then? Bring him back to the city. I disguise myself with his robes. Maybe follow their tunnels back to their base? Uh, yeah. One problem. That was a human male. Might be a bit strange if a Felina female returns in this place. Oh. I'm a human male, by the way. Fine. Just put on the robes. Obsidian. Where would there be obsidian in this area? The only volcano around. Mount Tempest. Or lava pool, just form one. <laughs> just build a nether portal. Uh, Interesting. Hot. And itchy. It's only going to get worse inside the volcano. <sighs> Great. <laughs> oh, and uh, take our prisoner back to the Riverstead prison while I'm away, alright? I didn't know Riverstead had a prison. Well, it does. Are you sure? Pretty darn. How do you know? What? Nothing. It just does. I should go. What? 
I mean, you could hey. just give it to the guards. Good luck. Try not to die. I'm going to need more than luck. <laughs> Is that gold blocks I just see up there? I think it was like a bell or something. Oh. You should be asleep, Sam. So should you. <laughs> if only. A lifetime of wielding songs has had certain adverse effects on my health. Thalius, what was the Great War like? They call it the Great War, but few things about it were great. Many lives were lost, and the Ardoni... The Ardoni were nearly brought to extinction. Oh, wow. Did you ever meet the Tide Singer? Oh, yes. We fought together on occasions. His true name was Achillean Nostaris, and he was the greatest song wielder I have ever known. His true power, however, lay in his ability to unite and lead so many diverse people and factions. And he was killed by the Death Singer? Hmm. Nobody really knows who killed who. But yes, both were killed. Wow. When an Ardoni dies, their songs are left behind. After the battle, the songs of both the Tide Singer and the Death Singer were found. Some people questioned what really happened, but most were just glad the war was finally over. Mm. Thalius, do you know where I'm from? Your parents were both killed by the Voltaris. Oh. And you were the only one of your brothers and sisters I could save. I could not raise you myself with all the traveling I did. So, uh, I looked for someone who would be willing to take in a child. But no one would accept a clanless child. Apart from Osibian. He raised you, and cared for you. And even though you may not have been Sindaris, he named you after the clan. Sen. So you would always have a place to return to. Oh, I know this is not what you wanted to hear. But perhaps the truth will help you one day find peace. I understand. Thank you for being honest. Well, that's sad. Hurry up, Grim. These animals are blowing <laughs> our cover. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, not this girl again. Told you we got lost in those woods on the way out. Some shortcut you had. This time you deal with the girl, I'll get the horses. Okay. Three oh two euros? Okay. You idiot, get your own. Oh, yo, this guy is so rude. Too far. Forget the horses, Grim. Run. Huh. Abigail? What's this all about? 
about? Hey, Darlene. Sorry for the trouble. I was hoping to catch them before they left the woods. It's all right, Abby. Nobody's hurt, and those thieves didn't make off with one of my horses. Over here, Cloud. <laughs> it's been so long since you've come by, Abby. Why don't you stay for a bit? After you've rested, we can catch up with them on horseback. <sighs> Thanks, Darlene. That'd be much appreciated. Okay. Apparently they stole some dragon stone from Etheria. When I found it in the woods, they came for it. That's not just a dragon stone, Abigail. It's an ender dragon egg. An egg. No wonder they were so determined. It's an egg? <laughs> Come on, you know the stories. The ender knights used to protect the land alongside their dragons. That was years ago. Both the ender knights and their dragons have vanished. So, how did you persuade Mr. Finch to let you go on this hunt? I didn't. I just... left. <laughs> About time. I don't know how you managed to live with him. He may be a strict old grouch, but he has looked out for me ever since my parents died. I can't just forget that. <laughs> Tabor Crags. They're going to use the ravine to stay out of Concord's borders. This is as far as I can take you, Abby. Okay. Thanks for your help, Darlene. I'll have to pay you back someday. You already helped save my horses from being stolen, Abby. This is the least I could do. Be safe on your hunt. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's going she's really going to travel that far? I recognize these trees. We're near Sendaria, right, Thalius? That is correct. Your home is just ahead. This was quite an adventure, Thalius. Thank you for having me along. <laughs> I would hardly call this trip an adventure, but you are most welcome. <laughs> oh, Sandy, wait. What happened? Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That's really bad. <laughs> oh wait, how many episodes do we have? Oh, we're we're done. Alright, whoa! Time for uh the next video, but I'm gonna end it here. It's been like an hour, maybe more than that. I don't freaking know. I don't know how long I've been recording, but it's definitely over an hour. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And yeah, man, I want to be releasing more of these uh reaction videos since you guys love it so much i want to be gaming videos but you know what so hit the subscribe button if you want to see that and yeah man i can't wait to react to more of this so yeah stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and peace oh i still don't have an uh, outro i guess this is the outro i really need to hire someone to make me an outro with after effects well i guess i should contact one of the editors from the side man <laughs>